Hello guys, DJ Sub once again with another tutorial uh, about Sony Acid Pro 7 and today we'll be checking how to install and how to use the brake effect I am pretty sure you have seen a couple of my videos where you hear a brake effect so I want to show you and uh, even even before we jump to it, it does not work with the Sony Acid Pro 6 it usually works with Sony Pro 7 and I believe on and on I tried it on Sony Acid Pro 6 and I couldn't see it. So here it is. Here is the the plugin, tapestop.dll. So the first thing that you do, you copy it. Control C on your keyboard. I've already copied it. Then you locate where you have installed your Sony Acid Pro 7. It's in local disk C on, on, on my side, and then program file 686 because it's a 32 bit uh, program. Then you scroll down to Sony folder, you open it, and then you go to the Sony Acid Pro 7 uh, folder, you open it as well. So here you are. So the next thing that you do, you you, 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 you open this file IO pl plugins, you open it, and then you paste it inside here, you paste it, you, it will paste. So here it is at the bottom. So the next thing that you do, you just close it, then come and open your Sony Acid. Here it is. So if you can't see your plugin manager, you just come to view and check. You check it, uh, the plugin manager. When you check it, it will pop up somewhere in your work area. But mine, I've already positioned it at the at the bottom for easier maneuvers. So the next thing that I'll do, I'll come over here. Where it has been read, written configure VST. I click on it. So the next thing that I'll do, I'll scan to scan there that fold uh, everything uh, that uh, that Sony Acid uh, Sony Acid Pro 7 folder has. So uh, once I'm through scanning, I come to add. I'll click on add and then locate where I did install uh, paste uh, paste that. Uh, plugin it's in local disk C program file 686 uh, Sony folder Sony uh, yes, Acid Pro 7 then here is the folder <coughs> then press OK just uh, make sure you have just uh, marked the, this folder not any other just this one file IO plugins then press OK See, uh, since I've already done that, because you can see it's over here, so I'll just press OK. But on your side, it it, it, it won't uh, look like that. So I've already done that. So the next thing that you'll do, you can scan again the folder. Then now press OK. When you press OK, the next thing that you'll do, you can create like an audio track, right here. Insert audio track, or or you can press Control plus Q on your keyboard. So here is an audio, audio track. So what I'll do, I'll come over here, right click on this plugin effect, uh, plugin uh, track, uh, plugin chooser. Click on it, and here you, 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 this is where it will bring you. Then you'll come to, you'll see this, the b the blue dot tape stop here it is. Then you double click on it or you uh, press add. And then okay, and then you, you, you've already added it to your uh, uh, let's say it's like when you usually use a flange uh, this is how you usually do place it and anything that you place on this audio track it will have that effect of a reverb so that's how it usually it's usually done so the next thing that you do you come over here uh, uh, make sure your uh, audio track effects it is is checked so mine is checked and i place it at the bottom so you come over here, click on it and choose trigger and slow down, then press OK. Then you'll see these two lines. So when you see these two lines, know, just know you are ready. Everything is set up is you to do the magic. So let me open my previous project and I show you how to use this, uh, the, uh, know how to use the break effect. So I'll just close it, then open. Yeah, here it is, break effect to 
so I've already done something. I just played. Poof, they go to car. Poof, they go to crib. Poof, a hundred men. Poof, poof, they go to car. Poof, they go to crib. So I wanna I like make my poof. The break effect to be here. So it's you to choose how long you want the break effect to be had. So poof, you can like take all of it like this from this part to this part this part so the next thing that you'll do you'll create another audio track audio track and then come like i showed you uh, back before you apply the the blue tape tape stop you apply it up double click double click on it and then come over here configure fx automation and check trigger and slow down i haven't used the d click yet but i'll do research on it if it's something useful, I'll make a tutorial. If it's not, don't bother with it. So press OK, and I'll see these two lines. I've already set up my volume. So the next thing that I'll do, I'll just come over here and cut it and paste it at the where the break effect is at. So then I'll zoom in. You can zoom in a couple of times. Uh, till even 16 boxes. It, it, it depends with you. So we'll use just 16 boxes. And then I'll the, uh, so the next thing that you'll do, as you can see, there is a, a, a slow down line and a trigger line. So what you'll do, you come at the bottom over here, double click to apply an uh, to to apply a point, and then at the top, double click as well. So you have two uh, two up and down points. So the next thing that you'll do, you come over here as well, double click and double click make sure they are two and then uh, the same you do the same thing outside and the inside double click and double click over here double click and double click to apply so this is where we will apply the break effect so another thing let me show give you an example let me ins insert an, an audio track when you press v v on your uh, keyboard it will give you this volume line so if i apply uh, since I want, I want to apply a, let's say a, a volume, a something about a volume inside here. If I reduce this one, everything on the left will be reduced, and this as well as if I reduce this one, everything on the right will be reduced. The volume, its volume will be reduced. So what I will do, I will click here and here. So when I reduce this one, everything on the right will remain the same. So this one will help you to keep track. Uh, not to affect anything that you have done on that audio track uh, as you'll be like making a mix uh, as you keep on going because at, at times it's kind of tiring to be creating audio tracks and then audio tracks you just want to re reuse the same so it's good to add a, a volume that would change and another one that you want to change so the same as here if I reduce everything in the middle will have no vo uh, have no sound but on the right and on the left will have, have, have some so i'll delete it that was just for the, the demonstration so then uh, uh, i was showing you that because we can do the same over here because if i like do anything change over here and i don't add another point here and here it will affect anything on the right and everything on the left so you had another one here and here here and here so anything that you do in the middle won't affect anything on the left if you have used this audio track for another purpose apart from the uh, from the break so the f next thing that you do you come over here in the second uh, in the one that's inside uh, uh, first before even even before we go far i'll play it and you will just leave, uh, hear it it's it's still normal it's still normal so what I'll do now will do you come over here, tape stop trigger. Now you, you 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 take this one and drag it at the top and place it at the corner, just like that. I'll repeat. You come over here at the bottom on the second one. You click on it. You drag it at the top and place it at the corner. And the, sa the, uh, uh, the same over here. You take this one, you, you take it at the top and pl place uh, take it to the corner. So what you, you I usually do I usually like make it to be in the center, like over there. So when I play, it, this is what it will sound like. Go to crib. Go to crib. Go to crib.
just like that so if you keep uh, in, let's say you take this one at the top it will give you a, a different result go to crib go to crib just like that it's for you you, you you do what you find is good you take it near here go to crib yeah as you can see go to crib it's like the break has finished over here and the song wants to continue so it's advisable to you keep it like over here just like that so the next thing that you do you come to the, this one uh, uh, slow down you drag it down a little we start with that one you drag it down a little and then you play it and listen go to crib go to crib yeah you, as you can hear the break is pro prolonged if you take it down to the bottom you can in the, you, 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 and give it a try and see, you see and hear how it will sound like go to crib go to crib just like that you can pull it up and hear the same uh, a, a, a different result go to crib yeah that's a quick a quick break so let us keep it in the middle so another thing is it's not a must for it to be in here uh, like on the second box you can even take it in the middle and try something yeah it's up to you Go to crib. Go to crib. Just like that. So another thing that I usually love to do on this same same audio track, I usually add an a reverb effect. I add it, then I'll play it and listen how it will sound like. Go to crib. Go to crib. Yeah, just like that. That, that. I can say that's how I usually like do my my stuff. So I'll give you like let, let me see if in my previous. Uh, my previous project fights I have uh, let's say I have a, a, a project file that I did work on this break effect and should show you a couple of examples so I'll just pause the video then load another audio uh, project file to see if I have used the break effect so that you can hear different variations so here is one uh, I'll show you a couple of them. Here is one. I'll just keep on pausing the video. So. Just like that. So here is another, another one. I repeat it. It sounds awesome. I, 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 I see it too. That was straight shots and then pop. Let me check if there is another. If there isn't, I'll just repose the video and resume the, the video and then we conclude. Uh, I found another one and uh, I believe this is the one that will be concluding with so I'll play it just like that and that's how you can use a break effect so get creative create your own style uh, later on i'll show you a couple of things uh, that you can use with the break effect like a reverse and a break effect if effect usually sounds great so i believe and i hope you get something so practice hard uh, if you are a new individual you can subscribe and for future awesome videos like I have a great plan to show you a couple of things that most of the guys can't show you. So I'm here to like reveal all the secrets that I know. So I've been sub and it has been nice to be in another tutorial with you guys. Share the knowledge and peace.